So, how do you feel a fuel cell vehicle? Especially in uh, New Zealand, or Pacific Nation. So, here is my bottle rack. This has nitrogen, pure nitrogen. Here's hydrogen, more or more hydrogen. These are about 800 bucks each. It makes it fairly thirsty to feed. Okay, so the first thing to tell you about is nitrogen. Now, the fuel cell, this here, uses nitrogen. So this is the filling connector, this is the bleed connector. And this allows me to fill this accumulator over here with high pressure nitrogen gas. And what that does is at the start of the fuel cell uh, operation, it purges the fuel cell. Uh, gets rid of any oxygen or anything like that that might have seeped in. And at the end of when I shut it down, it also purges again to get all the hydrogen out of the fuel cell. And that just stops the reaction because it's a chemical reaction. Um, this is the safest and cleanest way to do it. So we use nitrogen. Right, how do I fill it with hydrogen? Well, that's even simpler. Here on my hydrogen bottle, I've got a gauge, bleed valve, and a little filling barb. What I do is I slide this here to the socket here. Oh, there we go. Just like so. La 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 la. Turn the ignition on because it needs to energize the in tank regulator valve. Crack the bottle. Ah, uh, that's why it's a little hard. It's got some residual pressure. Crack the bottle. Uh, hydrogen gas flows. When the pressure drops, you know, it stabilizes. Okay, it's as full as it's going to be. Turn the valve off. Bleed the pressure out of the line. Okay, come over here. Disconnect the barb. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so that's just a residual pressure of a thousand psi, or about seventy-five bar. Um, and yeah, no loss of gas or anything like that, so it's nice and safe. Okay, and this here is also the charge connector. So if you want to run on a gas, you can. If you want to run pure electricity, you just plug in the charger. And that can be done simply like so. Da -da -da -da. And a charge is intelligent, so the vehicle knows when the kit charge is connected. And will start um, it going to charge mode as soon as it detects the charger, or vice versa. The vehicle also won't start if you've got the charger plugged in. So you can't drive off and rip the charger with, you know, down the street with you. So there's a lot of thought gone into it. Uh, it's fairly idiot proof, but it's fairly straightforward too, and I think that's something that the general public can get behind and embrace. It's not complicated technology, it's either bloody plug in the charger, or plug in a gas connector, um, and so on and so forth. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be more of these videos about this technology and how I've implemented it, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a good day, bye.